Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how you can do a partial reload using ClickSense 2.0. You need to go to this page on Community and download that zip file which contains a little tool written by Thomas Friebel. So, what is partial reload about? Partial reload is the functionality to add data to a previous reload without reloading the whole content. In, in other words, I've written here a small script for a little app that is in standard mode loading a QVW. And this function returns uh, the mode of the reload, whether it's partial or reload uh, or standard. And this part of the code is only executed when a partial reload is, is made. So let's see what's happening in standard mode. Be aware there is no button in the browser that allows you to do a partial reload directly. It's loading a large QVW which takes about 10 seconds or so and now we can see um, there are two values in that field for example and the standard mode was used. Again you cannot use partial reload straight from the browser. However, if you downloaded the zip file, there will be a qsreload.exe. It's using the engine API of ClickSense and it's going to call a partial reload from there. It requires um, a parameter minus a and you need to provide the title of the app and it also requires minus p to do the partial reload. I'm going to open now again the app. You can see what's happening in a second. You can see it's done really in, in less than a second and now the new value has come. The reload mode was partial and the reload time has been updated. That is because it now went through the script, disregarded the load command because this was from the previous reload. It looks for, it scans for commands, load commands that are using the prefix add. And in this case, it finds sense as a source and just adds it to the field values. That's why here you can see sense. In contrast to this, if I'm going back to a standard reload, by just removing minus p. It's take, it takes a bit longer now. It's reading again the QVW and you will see it's updated, the reload timestamp is updated and the value sense is now gone from this field. So check out um, the community for more details where is it explained how this was made and thank you for watching.